All right, come in here, Vito. Let's play. Do you want to stay in there or come in here and play the game? I'm going to come in there. Yeah. That's bullshit. But I, um, I mean, as funny as some people think it would be to make Chris eat 30 days of salad, I know him enough that he's not going to do it. And the show is going to be the screaming matches of he didn't come to salad. <laughs> And that, and the salad. <laughs> it just <laughs> and it just annoys me. Like, how do you not know? Like, if you said to Chris, "Oh, I get to hit you in the back with a baseball," he'd do it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, you have to eat this shit sandwich. He'd do it. But thirty days of salad, and, and by th day three, I'm gonna go like this. I don't wanna fucking hear salad again. You fucking ruining the show with the salad talk. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, so the deal is this: Chris is launched from this room if he loses this. Now, I I don't know what the questions are. How the game's no. uh, now, is this most, a buzzer game? Most of these are buzzers. Yeah. Uh, there are, I believe, at least two where they would have to write something down and then show at the same moment, if you'd like. Okay. But I guess any of these could be. If you if you think it's better to do it just written down, they could write them all down, and then they both have a shot at getting the answer. No, it's up there with salad for me. Okay. It's just very very annoying. <laughs> now, so let me just do the buzzer thing. I want you to yell your name out, right? Yeah. And I'm going to give you an example of of how to do it. All right. Yeah. But I also want to smash down too because I like when people smash. Done. Right. Uh, who is the female star? Now, this isn't real. This is the test. This is, yeah, yeah, you right, will not get okay. points, but test your abilities. Who is the female star of Titanic? Chris. Yes, Chris. Kate Winslet. Okay. okay. Now, you could also already see that Chris will hit before he knows. <laughs> yes. So there's got to be a time limit <laughs> on how long he gets <laughs> Understandable. <to finish>. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> But I don't see. It took a moment to think of the name Kate, now, Kate Winslet. This is the other thing. Do you lose a point when you have a wrong answer? Is it like Jeopardy, or it just means nothing? Um, I say that he can, he can, he can answer. Say if I get it wrong, he can answer. But then if he doesn't, if we both don't get it right, move on to the next question. Okay, okay, that gotcha. seems fair. All right, and one more time. Okay, okay. What is the Hottest salad you've ever eaten in your life. Vito. Yes, Vito. It was from the place across the street. It was a nice spicy chicken with and I'm sorry, base. Chris, what would you like? I've never eaten a spicy hot salad. That's a point to Chris. Five points off Vito. <laughs> good, good. So that's how it's going to go. All right, so you got your questions ready, yes, Gail? I have some questions. It's going to be a buzzer okay. contest. All right. Uh, do we have an opening to this? Yes, we do. Can we hear it? Lights. Camera, action. Two radio producers. I'm going to make them an offer, camera. One winner. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Who will be crowned the Bennington Show King of Movies? They call me Mr. Tibbs. This is Chris versus Vito. <laughs> Why are all, are all of our drops from 1967? <laughs> this looks good for me. <laughs> They call me Mr. Tibbs. Oh, Who shit. gives a shit if they call Mr. Tibbs or not? <laughs> now, I just want to point out to the listeners, these two guys honestly hate each other, <laughs> and it's know. really annoying to the rest of us. <laughs> There's no reason they should hate each no, other. They really They're shouldn't. fucking twins. <laughs> I look much different. <laughs> Only oh recently God. because of the salads. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you get back to being yourself, all I got to do is order food. You stare at it, you walk <laughs> around it, and then you huff it in. One person says, just have a piece, and then it turns into like five pieces. <laughs> and then you have to tell me to have a piece. <laughs> That's true, Bill. Just go for it. Yeah, you actually steal. <laughs> Sometimes right. even slurping people's green juice when they're not in the room. <laughs> I didn't think I'll never that. forgive you for that. <laughs> I didn't think it would be never. Problem. It's disgusting. <laughs> Why wouldn't you ask? I would have said yes. By the way, what's the name of this game again? Mr. Tibbs? <laughs> they, they call me. Okay. They call me. All right. <laughs> the first Mr. question. Tibbs or not? For, call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> question. In here tonight, Chris. <laughs> you did that backwards. It still counts. You can't do that in the game. You have to say your name first and you have to slam right, down. This right. is why we hate you guys. Hey, come on. All right. You guys. All right. We haven't even started. First question for they call me Mr. For Tibbs. Tibbs. All right. Give me the point for Tibbs. No, you're not kidding it. <laughs> name the star. And director of Citizen Kane. 
Vito. Uh, Vito, you got it. Orson Welles. Both. Correct. Oh, Wait, that's it. Uh, the game is over. No! <laughs> what, what was the... Uh, let, Why did you drop the Weren't we supposed to get a drop of... <laughs> Why did you drop the sound so quickly? Point Vito. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that he dropped it. He didn't have it up at all. Uh, you're going to miss this room, Chris. No, I'm not. So that's I mean, it. The I, game is over. Congratulations, this, Vito. It can't be a one-question game. Now, I'm going to be the final judge on all this. And I'm watching. You hit first, but he said I his know. name I first. Think cr- and all I've asked for is the name. Okay. I don't even like when people hit. <laughs> what? Now I do. <laughs> I know. It is fun. All right. All right. Second question for they call me Mr. Tiggs. <laughs> question number two. <laughs> what is the name of the boat in Jaws? Chris. Chris Stanley. I'm sorry, Chris. You're a fucking liar. I knew it. What do you have? This is the easiest question in the world, Vito. SS. No. SS SS Minnow. Oh, the SS (laughs) Minnow. It's, of course, the Orca, correct? It is the Orca. One point run. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to have Sal and Ted stay out of the other room. All right, let's do this. Can I get a side of pizza with my salad? Thank you. By the way, I would have accepted the SS Indianapolis because it is referenced. It is referenced. (laughs) Uh, Okay, what is... Uh, this is question three. What is the best-selling movie soundtrack of all time? Chris. Yes, Chris. Titanic. No. Incorrect. Singing in the Rain. Incorrect. Oh. Ron, for the steal. I'm going to guess Bodyguard. It is. Oh, the Bodyguard. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. <laughs> but I bet Titanic is number two. Is that thing so? I believe a actually, um, uh, Saturday Night Fever is number oh, two. Oh shit! I always yeah. forget that's a soundtrack. This <clears throat> is really an album. Yeah, that because that's what I would have thought. Like, there's was. not a piece of soundtrack music <laughs> on that right. soundtrack. <laughs> I think there's maybe only two other artists. There's like one song by yeah. Yvonne Elman, and yeah. then like one song by someone. Everything else. But I mean, there isn't that thing like you're playing right. music to no, make no, a no, scene no. go better. No, <laughs> it's, it's just, just like straight an disco. album. <laughs> Um, All right. So still 1-0, right? Bull- yeah. All right. So this one is tougher, so that has me concerned. <laughs> yes. We're all getting concerned now. Question four. Name the three films starring James Dean. Chris. Go, Chris. Okay. East of Eden, Rubble Without a Cause, Giant. Woo! Correct. Woo! Correct. That, that <laughs> Why do I get... <laughs> <laughs> Was that you who farted or somebody no. in the audience? <laughs> it sounds like I know who did the production. <laughs> now, can I say this for Chris? Not only did he get the three right, but in the order that they came out. Yes, he did. A lot of people think uh, Rebel came out first, but no. no. It was Giant. Not Giant. Uh, was, East uh, of Eden. Yeah. East of Eden. I got a second point for that or what? No, no you don't. <laughs> Why would you? All right. 1-1. One, one. One one, exciting. Game is over. <laughs> Both of you have to eat salads and stay in the room. Oh Only no Chris one. gets to eat salad. But he has to eat it in front of Vito every day. <laughs> why, why, why Vito has to eat one shovel full of sugar. <laughs> sugar and fat. It's lunch. Time for your sugar and fat. <laughs> Question number five. Let's go. Who directed The Graduate? Chris. Mike Nichols. Woo! Oh my Smoking rap, dude. <laughs> How you like that fart, Vito? You know? <laughs> What's the score now, Jen? You gotta keep an eye on the score. the fart against him. Yeah. <laughs> Is it 3-1? It is now 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Chris, okay. I'm, I've am i got the score here. So This Chris is a fucking is... runaway, dude. I this is like exciting. <laughs> Mike Nichols, I'm very excited about both those two answers, Chris. <laughs> very exciting. All right. Question number six. In the movie Network, what does Howard Beale ask viewers to yell out of their window? Chris, I'm mad, so I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> He loves the part now. It's making him stronger. Why, why do you put your thumbs up? When, they, when, they, when the part happens, he puts his 
thumbs up and moves his butt to the side like he's really doing it. Wow, three one Look at right me now. Fucking face, you're a loser. <laughs> fucking loser. Oh my god, uh, this is crazy. I'm shocked. All right, question number seven. Look, the life has left him. That's right. The uh, life is out sucked of it out of him. <laughs> Spit it back in his face. All right, All question right. seven. Let's go. Name the two 1998 Oscar contender films that were both about World War II. Chris. Vito. I'm going to give that to Vito. Saving Private Ryan and Flight of the <laughs> Fathers. Oh. Oh, no. Go ahead, Chris, because I think you actually had won that. Saving Private Ryan. Let's say Schindler's List. And oh. Yes, the same director. Yeah. They're both. <laughs> Piano? Terrence Malick. Terrence oh, Malick, shit. everybody. The right. Thin Red Line. No the points. Thin Red Line. I would expect the Vito to have gotten that. Yeah, I know. I thought he had it. All right. Question number eight. At what historical landmark does Pee Wee believe his stolen bike is located at? Chris. Yes, Chris. Mount Rushmore? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what? So. I thought I was about to start this with. This is an easy one, at yeah. least. Can you repeat the question? I will repeat the question. At what historical wow. landmark does Pee Wee believe his stolen bike <laughs> is located Vito. at? Yes. The the dinosaur. <laughs> God yes, we all know the, the historical dinosaur. The fucking Alamo, you idiot. <laughs> Fuck. And no where points. is the Alamo? In the basement. There's no basement at the Alamo. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, Ron is tied. I haven't seen Pee Wee in a while. Ron is tied with Chris. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh boy. This is exciting. All I right. I don't want a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Question number nine. What is Stanley Kubrick's l final Chris. film? Yes, Chris. Eyes wide shut. Holy oh, shit, Vito. My God, now, Vito. Also, take a look at Vito. <laughs> the life has left him. The eyes are small. He's leaning over. He has nothing. Hold on, one more thing. Yeah. Poor Chris. <laughs> I would have never thought you had reaction time. <laughs> it isn't reaction time. You don't even get the fucking things when they're handed yeah, to you. You, you thought a fucking dinosaur was a historical <laughs> That monument. was a thing in the movie, though, wasn't it? It was a thing, but who, and they, nobody said his bike was on it, and it's not a, hyster a historical landmark. It is now. No, oh it isn't. Oh, my God, it's not. That's your way of trying to lie out of things. This means for one month, you can't eat a salad. All right. <laughs> no salad for you, bro. <laughs> Question. Look at him. <laughs> Come on. Question number 10. Come on, movie boy. <laughs> <laughs> he owns you, dude. You've been pwned. <laughs> you have been p owned. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray and Owen Wilson are tied for having been in the most currently released Wes Anderson films. Who is in third place? Chris. V yes. Jason Chris. Schwartzman. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That Five is correct. Ones. Here's some more farts. <laughs> Lord Chris. What are you going to do without salad for a month? I guess just eat grilled chicken by itself with no toppings or anything. It's actually, I, you, you know what? Who's been you're thinking about what he's going to eat, not how to win, dude. No, 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 you're a loser, dude. He fucking hits the thing before you finish the set. So what? That's you in the fucking rules. <laughs> Not, hold on, I'm first wrong. of all, it's not in the rules. We are just accepting it. But I think <laughs> you should have to eat ice cream. <laughs> no. Make Chris, I thought you cared about your health. <laughs> I am so happy. This salad shit fucking stops now. I <laughs> Stanley's a hero. Oh, my God. More Haggadahs, <laughs> Vito? <laughs> Yummy. Oh, my God. This is <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh my god, Vito! Come on, dude. Try, Chris. You were right what you said about the under millennials. That's oh, right. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Question eleven. Damn. Name the two legendary women who co-starred in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Vito. Go, Vito. Feud. Feud. <laughs> Feud. <laughs> um. And 
Go ahead, Chris. I don't. I don't know. I don't even. I don't know. <laughs> How uh, they not know wow. Beth Davis? How do you Beth not know Joan Crawford? Davis and Joan Crawford. I knew that. I'm just gonna remember. Hey, did you guys see Richard Branson one. in here yesterday with De- uh, Dan Rather? Yeah, for a second. Is Branson bitching about his house being fucked up? Uh, I didn't hear any of that part of it. Sure, it's a billionaire talking. Why would you take the time <laughs> to see what they had to say? All right. Five one still, right, Jen? Five fucking yes. one. Yes, <clears throat> five one. All right. <clears throat> Who do you go to eat salads with? Uh, usually Gail, Jen. Yeah. Sometimes I go by myself if I want to go to a specific place. What? It's always roast. And yeah. you, Chris? No, I, I don't eat salads, bro. I just fucking eat whatever I want. <laughs> don't run, bro. And it shows. <laughs> I'm his bro. <laughs> I'm his bro. He's lo- he's blessed. Wow. He doesn't have to watch That's what he eats. So <laughs> lucky. It's an amazing metabolism. <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. Name that movie. This is a movie quote. Name that movie. Love means never having to say. Vito. I'm sorry. Love story. Oh my oh, god. He's coming back. Point Vito. <laughs> I'm not Where's worried. the fart? <laughs> five two. It does make you kind of miss the fart. Yeah. All right, five two. In Rocky, what kind of store does Adrian Chris. work in? It was really exactly the same time, so I'm gonna give it to Vito. Pet store. Yeah. Ooh. Point Vito! I had to give it to Vito to make this thing, you know what I mean? Right. Just a little something. <laughs> All right. In Back to the Future, what year does Marty McFly visit? Chris. Vito. That was easily Chris. Yeah. 1953. 1955, 2015, 1885. I was just looking for the first answer, but correct. Vito wow. is correct. Point Vito. Jeb, what's your score now? Five, four, Chris. Holy Five, four. shit. All right. <laughs> just that All quick, right. we started right. it around. Oh, okay. Next question. Name the first feature film of director Sofia Coppola. Chris. Go ahead, Chris. I'm going to say uh, <coughs> Lost in Translation. Uh, incorrect. Uh, Vito's a film student, so this should be easy for him to get. For the and shit, the fucking god yes, damn it! It did start with the. You were right. You and are correct. The virgin, <laughs> the virgin suicide. suicide. Yes, you're both sexist. You could have tied it up. You could have tied it up. <laughs> oh my that. god! <sighs> All right. All right. Next go. question. Name uh, the instrumental song. That opens Woody Allen's Manhattan. One of the most famous songs. Vito, Rhapsody in Blue. No! Oh, shit, it's tied up! Oh, it fuck. is tied up! It's tied up, it's fine. Holy shit! Holy wow, shit! Wow, come back, Point shit. Vito! This is crazy. That's five, five. What's this? Uh, what number question are we on, Gil? We are, that was question number 17. Wow. This is really nuts. Okay. Who is the director of the next Star Wars? Chris. Go ahead, Chris. You're trying to Google. I'm not Googling anything. (laughs) The next, uh, Ron Howard. (laughs) Ron Howard is not directing. Ron Howard's doing the Han Solo movie. That's it. Oh, shit. Ryan Johnson? This is crazy. I'm so shocked right now. I never thought he could come back. I didn't think anybody would care about Ryan Johnson doing that. Wow. <laughs> okay. In Do the Right Thing, name the character who carries a boombox wherever Radio Rakim. No. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Fucking shit. Radio Rakim. Yes. 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 <laughs> you gave it to him. Dude, you didn't know Radio Rakim. Ra- no, I didn't. That. He's point Vito. <laughs> I was in Radio Rodney. Points. All right. So the next. Well, now it's I have. Tw- uh, this is question 20. We're, we're uh, now 7 5. A question. And this is the last question. Yeah. This question is worth two points. Okay. So Vito could. 
win it, but is this set up as a special question? This is a special question. Yeah. All right. That we're going to need 60 seconds on the clock, which I can put up. So. And they write down? You're going to write something down. So have paper and pen ready. You will have 60 seconds on the clock to name as many actors you ca- as you can from The Godfather, part no, one. No, that's actors and not characters, correct? Actors. Yeah. Actors, not characters. Now, what happens if they write down the wrong actor? Do they lose a point for that? Or? Uh, I guess we will tally the number of correct actors. Okay, very and good. And that will be the... The winner. Very exciting. This is very exciting. Our Godfather, he is the big bambino. He has three sons, they all are here. One's name is Al Pacino. (laughs) Where are we on time right now? And we are five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Pens down. All right, Chris, since you are in. Second place, and how did that happen? <laughs> Ryan Johnson. No, <laughs> that's just the last. He, he went on a tear. I know. Had, seriously, he was lifeless. All right, read off yours. Robert Duvall, Diane Keaton, Al Pacino, Marlon Brando, James Caan. That's how many? Five? Five. Five. Go ahead, Vito. Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan, Talia Shire. Oh! Yes! Oh! I got the fucking tie oh! We are tied up. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to fuck. Take a break oh, and use this time to Google and look for that last question. All right. Look for the last question. If anyone thinks that we're setting this up for excitement value, you're wrong. You're so wrong. And can you imagine how your mom feels right now that this is the thing that you lost to him on? Yeah. The Godfather. The Godfather, you let him get away with an extra person. I got Talia Shire. <laughs> so you, you're always proud even when you do bad. It's very weird. Looking at the bright side. <laughs> that isn't a bright side. That's still a loss. This is the bright side. Poor Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> you're so fucking annoying. That's the I, I can't believe he never had siblings. I don't I really believe it because I, he behaves like someone who knows how to annoy a sibling. I think um, I honestly believe that he had siblings and he ate them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break back with the end of the show if you haven't tuned out already. <laughs> the exciting end of the show is coming up next. This is Bennington. Uh, we're about we're tied up at what score? Is it 7-7? Seven, 7-7. Seven? Seven, seven. And that's out of 20, which is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> right. <laughs> the rest. Chris Stanley having an amazing comeback when you thought you had lost the game. Because here's a kid named after the Godfather who can only come up in 60 seconds four names of people who were in the Godfather. I know. I thought, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I thought I was a little bit sunk because, yes, him and, and Leslie watched The Godfather all the time. Am I right? Neither one of you said James Conn? Am I crazy? I know. I, I, okay. I said James Conn. I said James Conn, Ron. Because uh, it seems like you would at least get the dad and the four children before, the yeah. three children even before you moved on. Vito, do you remember what answer you did for the uh, do the right thing? The person carrying the radio he said radio rakim and then i said radio rakim if you are correct about that Vito, that you said that his name was radio rahim oh and that no. was brought to us um uh, by um dj dj sent that in dj famous name oh if my you God. are correct and we go back and listen then there is no Final question. And you shall not eat a salad between now and the new year. <laughs> That's 
two and a half months of <laughs> yeah, Chris, I know how to do fucking math. Two and a half months of farts and pizza <laughs> in that office, and I won't allow you to eat anywhere else. <laughs> so oh he gets my God. no food <laughs> unless he eats in the office with me. Wow, I can't Please believe I didn't pick that in the up. office, dude. It's so gross. He does eat in the office. <clears throat> it's so gross. He said uh, Radio Rock. It was a K in there, Ron. Yeah, it was. I did it on purpose. I threw him off. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> if that is correct, Vito, I'm sorry the contest is over. Oh, no. And I hate to end on a bummer like that. But I know. Without well, our integrity, we're nothing. Who yeah, are we? You're yeah. right. Who are we at that point? Animals. I wouldn't say that we're animals. We just made a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I could easily go and make another two point question, but. The game ended. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with Vito lying. I mean, basically, <laughs> I, I mean, you purposely went out of your way. No, I thought that was the answer. <laughs> Whose name it? is Rakim? That doesn't even make sense. He, it's always Rahim. He's talking about how he loves Spike Lee yesterday when he got game and how much he loves. And he doesn't even know fucking Radio Rahim. You got the name wrong, too. So why don't you I shut did that up? on purpose? Okay, here we go. That's how it happens. They're not having Mind fun. Mind tricks. So that wasn't a mind game. You would have just gotten the answer right, and then you would have won that way. You wouldn't do that on purpose. That doesn't make sense. We would have made the last uh, question three points then. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be up ten to Now, seven. you actually had to come back in that last one. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You would have been probably sitting all alone at 19, just fucking not a care in the world. Yeah. And the, my question that I had looked up was on the movie Major League. Oh, no. We don't know so much about Major League. Well, he's never going to get to show that knowledge off. Let me tell you something, um, and Tracy Morgan said this to me. Some people are afraid of heights. It means they can't take the pressure. They cannot take the pressure. And Vito, if you showed anything today, it was getting shaken during the pressure. I came back from all the, I, the pressure. Why I have on. to come back? Fucking get out front and stay there. Yeah. Like Tracy Morgan did. You got shook up like a brunch margarita. Here's another thing Tracy Dorky. did down there that night that this was like amazing to me. Like, so he meets a guy on the street, and the guy is like, "Oh man, I'm your biggest fan." And <laughs> Tracy's hugging him and all. And then the guy says, "Could you sign from something for me?" And Tracy's like, "I'd love to sign something." And he goes, "Just write it to my son David." He and he and Tracy does this. I don't personalize. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's not ever going to personalize he an autograph. Not. He will not. You personalize. just get the Tracy Morgan and nothing else. Can we just do an asterisk? No, man. This ain't fucking uh, Bonds. <laughs> what? What? The home run record. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I got it. Barry Bonds. Yeah. Got it. I thought we like, met in, James Bond, in sports, and I was confused. In sports, when it's old, like we already moved on past the whistle, you can't replay. You can't challenge a play after the whistle. Look around here. This isn't sports. Mm -mm. If you're trying to lie your way out of this Both or con your way out of it, reference a rule book that doesn't <laughs> exist. This yeah. is the I've World noticed. Trivia Organization League. <laughs> all right. <laughs> This is you lost, Vito. It's fine. You said Radio Rakim when it's Radio You Rakim. said Radio Rakim. And I got a bunch of other questions. I right was closer than you. But that doesn't matter, yeah, Vito. Well, you yeah. lost. Right. But he's being such a dick about it. He was wrong on the same You know why question. he's being a dick about okay. it? He won. When someone is a dick about things, it's okay if they won. Thank it's you. It's wrong if they lost. Thank you, Ron. To the... Look, if you got a problem with anybody, it's DJ Famous name. Because yeah. he's the one who fucking busted you in your lie. <laughs> DJ Famous today helped me out for this. Poor Chris. <laughs> uh, what a way for this to end for you, Vito. So no salads, no grilled chicken for <laughs> two and a half months. We said no salad. We never said no Oh my chicken. God. Doesn't he understand to the riches go the spoils? And I'm getting the spoil right now. Right? Yeah. With all the good I don't points. like you as a winner. I'm great as a winner. No, what are you talking about? Then you should have beat him. <laughs> yeah. Then you should have beat him. Yeah. Why don't you know anything about the graduate? Or the godfather? The graduate. Or I, first, let me say this. The Mike Nichols did impress me. Yeah, I was shocked. when, when I didn't you think you knew who Mike Nichols was. And when you Mike said Nichols. it, I was like, well, this, he's going to win handedly. Yeah. Because I had my money on Vito from the beginning. Well, I, Vito I, went to film school. Yeah, if, of course. But here's the thing that I know about Vito. He is afraid of heights. He's a choker. 
The I, Godfather, your family movie. Yeah, I mean, we could even sit here and go. How many times have you seen that movie, you think, in your life? Be honest. Probably like 10 times. Only 10. That's it? A family movie. And you're named after this movie. Chris saw it once. Yeah. And he walked out of it. <laughs> That's why you only got five. Thank you. I was like, this is bullshit. Too Italian. <laughs> Too Italian. <laughs> By the way, you're going to be eating Italian every day. Oh, that's <laughs> pasta. You're going to have fine pastas and cream puffs. Sauce and, and cheese. Just, just so much melted cheese. And it's nice gonna, bread. It's going to taste good. Yeah, you got to have some bread. You get Use some nice... bread to sop it up. You get the gravy. Sop it up. I guess I get... You ready to sop? Shut, stop it. <laughs> why? Stop why? It's fun with them. With you, it's just fucking... You sound like oh, a sore loser. No. Yeah, he's a sore loser because he got he, he tied here in this. Poor Chris. <laughs> I made that. <laughs> you tried to use it against me. <laughs> Try to embarrass me. You can't use his parts against him. <laughs> he's proud of them, I guess. <laughs> they seem to make him stronger. I should have known that farts Look, make him. Can strong. I just tell you something, Vito? Every once in a while, you run into somebody who's better than you at anything, right? <laughs> And that's fucking Chris Thank with you. you. That's Thank okay. You. He's not better than me at everything. He beat me one time on a good day. Good day? You call this a good day for you? <laughs> for him, he beat me on a oh, good you're day. you're not even making Every sense. Every day is no. a good day for No, me. it's not. Thank you for explaining that to Vito. Well, and this costs you the chance to be on Big Brothers. You should have never bet these things. Yeah. It's going to be me and... Uh... I didn't bet the Big Brothers. I bet... I I bet salad. I guess at one point that came up. You brought it up. I You're brought up salad, salad against him. I didn't bring up salad on my Why end. Why would somebody say, oh, this will be against you, but not against me? Vito, you did put the salads out there. I put the salads on the table, but I didn't put the grilled chicken or the pasta every day or now the <laughs> losing big brothers. None of that was. Somebody sounds like a red ass right now. Somebody yep. sounds like a sore loser. Wonderful. This is a fucking time where you find your character, whether you're the stand tall with your chin up high. Give me another fucking competition with him, and... Uh, dude, this, why isn't then the Cleveland Indians yelling, let's play a fucking keep on playing to see if the Yankees beat us? They're at home, jacking <laughs> off. <laughs> they have chicks. They don't have to jack off. <laughs> Still men beat Chris. God. I feel pretty good. I don't know about everybody else. Uh, This is uh, Laura in Toronto. Laura. So I know you guys aren't watching your show account Instagram, or we would be talking about it all day, every day. You know what? I don't get an alert for the Instagram, so I didn't see it go off. There's yeah. a big fat guy with a wig making live videos every night. He smokes like this. His shirt's what? undone. He wears sunglasses at night. Why are you saying he wears a wig? I think it's a wig. People think I have fake teeth. They think I have fake hair. It's all real. Well, if you, why would you pick that hair and teeth that they were fake? <laughs> that too. I just look crazy person. Broke. Instagram account. Your smoking is weird. Yeah. The fact that you, you take little puffs on your French inhale each yeah. one. That's, I've always found you to be a very weird smoker. This is on a Instagram account, Bennington SXM. But yeah, I'm having a good time on there. How come I don't get alerts like I used to when you did Periscope? Whenever it, I, it doesn't really do alerts on Instagram, does it? Whenever I it, start the Instagram account, it says alerting your followers. It does. Oh, maybe yeah. I'm not following. If you're following the account and you can't be signed on onto that account, maybe. So if you're signed on under that account, you might not get the alert. I don't know if I No, because I, I don't. But maybe I, I don't have alerts on for Instagram. But yeah, push notifications. It alerts his signed on followers who he swears at. <laughs> I don't curse at people. Sounds like you do. I curse at the world around me, maybe, but not at the, not at the What's Instagram followers. What's this wig that you're wearing on this show? I have. This is fucking real hair. It's not a wig. It's from my own head. What, it still went it, up from last night. You can watch it. Yeah. All right, put it on now, Chris. I'm not sure if you can. Watch from a uh, desktop, but I'll oh my god! I, See what I mean? This thing's a fucking nightmare. Yes, it's you a can. mobile He's world. He's a liar. It's a mobile world. Now those are just pictures. Yeah, these are just pictures. Dude, Logging. why don't we update the? Inst you were going to be our social media guy, and we never update the fucking Instagram, Vito. Uh, I'm uh, yeah. I can't find a way to uh, watch. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out, but I don't see a way uh, how to watch video off a desktop. I can play it off my phone. Vito, now that you're not going to be wasting all your fucking time with salads, why can't you jump on the Instagram? That thing should be smoking. 
We got the hottest Instagram star in the fucking country, Chris Stanley. With my great he's, wig. And he's like the movie trivia fucking champion. No one can beat me. He won one trivia game. It's not makes it doesn't make him a How many of you won? Vito? That's the only one that's being played this year. Mm -hmm. So that makes him the champion. Forever. At least 2017. Now he's going to take six, seven months off to relax, yeah. enjoy himself. We watch a couple movies, get Dude, some new facts in my head. Imagine how great your life would be if you would have won that. I'd be eating salads. I'd be that sounds fucking terrible. Make fucking friends with salads. <laughs> I'd be champ, and I wouldn't be sitting here like a fucking idiot. Yeah, that's right. Especially The Godfather, your family movie that you yeah. only saw ten times. I know. How's that possible? I don't know. There's fucking hayseeds up in the fucking hills that have never been near a movie theater before seeing an 11. I remember the day my parents bought a VCR. Uh -huh. The very, as soon as they plugged into the TV, they went across the street to the yeah. video store, rented The Godfather. Sure. Imme like, immediately. That was the first thing they had to do. They had to, they had to have access to watching The Godfather as many times as they Were you all excited? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, sure. It was the fucking 1997. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be so, oh, so sad? <laughs> I never liked being named after it. So now you're blaming your mom for your No, house. I'm not blaming my mom. I love my mom very much. Oh, Leslie. Well, you let her down today. Do you yeah, feel I'm, like you've let your mom down? Yeah, I'm going to fucking hear about this the second I get home. You should. And remember, no salads at home. Yeah, I know. I'm I'll gonna text Leslie. <laughs> no, don't. You you will not text my mom. <laughs> Why not? I don't want you have my mom's number. Weirdly enough, she's dating a guy named Tex now. <laughs> <laughs> she wears a big old cowboy hat. It's <laughs> pretty cool. This was a harsh day for you, Vito. And you know what? I so much wanted that last question, and I was going for a quote. Or maybe two quotes that Gail and I could act out together, yeah. make it really cinematic. And then we had to find out that you're yelling out the wrong name in the middle of the show. Just lying about shit. DJ Famous name. Fucking bust at you for what you are. DJ Another Famous Harvey name. Weinstein. Yeah. DJ Famous well name is a fucking enemy for life. So yeah. you should be yourself should be an enemy for life because you're the one who got it wrong. You got it wrong too. Yeah, but I got a bunch of other shit right. Poor Chris. <laughs> Tell me the truth. When this came up yesterday, were you sure you were going to win? I mean, you went to film school. I was 100% sure. I you're was a director. Win. You're a writer. You're a producer. I was 100% sure. I, was, I felt like I was going to win walking into this room. And then when I fucking came back from what, what I was down, 5-1? When I came back from that, when I came up 7-5, I thought I had this thing in the fucking bag. No. We you weren't even close. No. At the time it was 7-5, it was really 7-4 out of reach. <laughs> And if it was 7-4, I would have made that last question, you know, three points, whatever it was. Yeah. God damn it, Vito. Just take that bust the loser. And though. salad is fucking healthy. You know that, right? I know. It's very healthy. And you're healthy. taking the healthy thing out of your life. And now I'm eating pasta every day. Mm. Maybe it's bad for you, but it's deliciously it's so, bad for you. It's so good and carby. Yeah. I'm not going to enjoy it. Yeah, you will. No, I won't. Well, you know something, Vito? Stop sulking and start thinking how you can make yourself a better person through pasta. You know what I mean? What you can learn from this chapter in your life. I guess how I you can be more like Chris. Find your inner Chris. Yeah. That fucking guy's a winner. Thank you. Big time. I'm a big time winner, just like the New York Yankees. <laughs> what happened to the Mets this season, Vito? They were what they called Vito Caliste. They, they Caliste themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they Caliste the bed. Let's face it. <laughs> I the Mets were out of it from fucking June. Here's the other thing, dude. You can't be friends with the girls. You can't talk to them. No, for the rest Vito, of the year. That's so sad. You can't talk to Roland anymore, and you can't talk to anybody in the hall. No, can you know I talk to I mean? Paul? Absolutely not. No, damn it. You can only talk to me if I feel like talking. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I know, like if you like, you have a message from Paul. It has to go through Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Spaventa? I'm going to miss you, Vito. Who's Dan Spaventa? Cool Disco Dan? Oh, the Gossip Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. The Gossip Man. Cut off, Vito. So I have no friends in the building anymore. Or outside the building. <laughs> yeah. Also, I want your cell phone. No, I'm not giving you I want to delete all your phone numbers except Give him your cell phone. Let's be fucking fair. Be a man Vito? about this. Give him your cell phone. Give it to me. Give I'm me the sorry password. Sorry this had to happen, but what's fair is fair. Give him the yeah. password. That's what you bet. Yeah. 
You have. I'm going to delete your Facebook account, too. No, don't, sure. why would you do that? <laughs> because for the next, then you can rebuild it a month and a half from now. Let me rebuild it. This isn't my space. Did you let Jen know you oh, won't snap. be going after salads anymore? Hey, Jen. Hey, you're not allowed to talk to her. Oh, You've got to go through Chris. <laughs> so what would you like to say to Jen? <laughs> uh, could you tell Jen that I won't be able to go to Roast or Little Beat or Cafe Metro anymore? <laughs> hey, Jen, Vio's not going to go to any of those shitty salad places anymore with you. See, I wouldn't have been mean to Jen Because like he doesn't that. like you. Because <laughs> he, oh. he hates you. Sorry, Jen. So you had to hear, hear the truth. He says a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> I don't say you're not around. Could you tell her I don't say anything bad about you her? You said that she has a rep. Oh my she's god! She's got a reputation. Chris, tell her I never said that she has a rep. I don't and people like think that she's right a narc. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jen. He, he said, "Tell everyone you're a narc." Chris, tell her that I didn't say that, please. Can't. Jen's like this. What would be bad about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So it seems good. <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. It's a great day for me, though. Chris. Oh, it is great. <laughs> yeah, we met for Vito. Who? Hey, uh, we uh, heard back from uh, Tito yesterday. Just so happy about the book. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's so exciting. Love Tito and Beth. Heard back from Beth today as well. Everyone's very happy. Sure. They're only, the, the people at Tito's, and they're dog people too, but they like to know that somebody went out and they're living their dream. I know. It's it's a really sweet thing. Have you started on the book yet? I have, yeah. I wa I read uh the first two chapters. Um, what do you think? I think it's great. It's fantastic. And by chapter 2, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah. by chapter 2, he r writes is something that I would say is the kind of thing that gets books banned from young really? people. Really? Yes. Saucy. Very a saucy sauce. I love sauce. <laughs> Okay, weird. But <laughs> talking talking about sex and it's <laughs> <All right. laughs> very sexy. I don't want to spoil too much, but it is girl or oral. That's all I'm gonna say. Girl on girl oral? No. Guy on girl. Hmm. Oral. Hey uh, Chuck in Boston, what's up? Yeah, I think because Vito lost, you should make him say the phrase close, but no salad every day until Christmas. Oh, I like that. Really good. Anytime you say something, close, but no salad. That's a great punishment. I just have to say that at the end of every <laughs> sentence? I got a spy report. Spy report. Spy report. Vito, you don't get to do the spy report stuff. It's Jen now. <laughs> She's a salad eater, and I can trust her. Yeah, healthy. Spy report. Spy report. <laughs> Renewed. For season three, Better Things. Oh, yeah! yeah! I love it! My favorite TV show in the world. Renewed season three. I love Pamela so much. Yeah, she's amazing. That show's amazing. It's on tonight. Yeah, I can't on wait. On FX or Fix, as <laughs> I call it my, in my home. So you're off to live in the wilderness for the next two months, Vito. <laughs> I. <laughs> that was never. I think you're going to learn something about yourself. In the wilderness? Yes, in the wilderness. People do that all the time. They go out in the wilderness just with their own thoughts. And they see that they have the ability to survive. You survive or you die. A lot of people in the wilderness will end up eating leaves. You can't do that. That's salad. You're going to have to eat raw meat. Yeah. <laughs> you have to murder something. Okay. Do you consider it murder when you kill an animal? I don't think it is if it's self-defense. Right. I think if you're attacked by a badger and you shoot it, mm -hmm. you have every right to eat that animal. But I can't cook it. Why would you cook it? How, where are you getting fire from? I don't know. I can make a fire. How? I doubt that. I doubt wood. That. And then what? You take wood, you take a rock, and then you fucking, you go... You hit a, you hit a I'll piece tell you of what, wood you can, sit here, you can sit here for fucking a month and you're not going to light that like that. Two rocks... Yes, we understand how it's done. Spark. Did you ever watch Survivor? They have the shit and they can't even get it going. They have Flint. And they're still sitting around. You you have no understanding of this thing that you're taking on alone for two months. Yeah. It the, was a month ago, five seconds. <laughs> end of year. Why would it be a month? It's a month ago. It's the end of the year. Everything we do is end of the year from this point on. Yes. Oh, you're going to miss the Thanksgiving show. Oh, that's so sad. No. I should have won that competition, bro. You should. You did win. Tim in Toronto. Hey, guys. Uh, if you guys really want some high-stakes drama, what I think you should do is uh, go back to that same question you had and uh, 
winner takes all, no salad for a year or nothing, like a double or nothing situation. A year. Why set up the loser to lose again? You know what I mean? Like, there, I, I, there'll be no interest in this contest at all. Yeah. Because Vito proved that he doesn't know movies. I know movies very no, well. This also interested me. I've been watching Twitter. 100% of the people were pulling for Chris. Really? 100%. I like to hear really? that. Really? I like that. But like no. You know why? Because Chris is annoying, but he brings some fun. And they're saying Vito has never brought the fun. And that is true. Shit. Remember the other day you were screaming at a listener? I I got a little heated at somebody because they lied about me. And I don't like being lied about. They didn't lie about you. They told the truth about you. Uh, and what, you were upset that they told the they truth? What they said to me, what I said to them on the phone is not what they told to These you guys. These are the details that bore listeners. You got to think of something fun and creative. You just can't go down to, let me go over the minutiae to everything. That's fucking Larry David stuff you know what i mean you want to be the next fucking larry david <laughs> is that what you want on you your life want, you know what that i thought i did until right now thought i did he said that's what we're gonna write on your goddamn tombstone <laughs> i thought i did <laughs> well, i'm gonna die what? pretty soon in the wilderness <laughs> wham, 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 wham. go ahead keep whining the fucking <laughs> listeners love a whiny fucking thing going on oh i can't eat salad <laughs> Jed, if I was you, I'd break up with him. <laughs> Are you guys dating? Oh, no. Vito told me that you guys were dating. He told what? me that for the last year. Chris, Vito. tell Jen that I never said that. Wait, Jen. are you is he screaming about me, Chris? Sounds like it. Yeah. Jen, he said he's dating you. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> and he said he got the third base. Oh, my God. Why would he say something like Jen, that? Jen, he said he hit a triple. And he was going home, but he got waved off. <laughs> Jen, just think of all the salads we've shared together, and he was talking like that about you. That hurts me. It's disappointing. He said he would have finished, but it was red tide. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my Please God! Please tell her I didn't say that. Jen, he said the words red tide. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> You're not a good messenger. Chris, just tell her that I didn't say that. Listen to him whine. Stop fucking whining and start being creative, dude. That's your thing. Say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm fucking. Oh, that's. I hard. lost everything today. Yeah. Today was a losing day for you. Up to today, you were the young winner. Looks like the old salt got one. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Poor Damn. Chris. <laughs>